Hi everyone, I'm here again to show you how to do something in 3ds Max. The rat you see here is a result from the first organic modeling class I give to my students. What we're going to do now is to control a modifier property from a slider in the viewport. The rat has a morph modifier with only one target colored splinter run. It also has in a stretch modifier that will let me animate a stretch and a squash. With these few elements I will create a procedural animation that I can control from the viewport. For finding your slider, go to create panel, helpers and choose manipulators from the list. Now choose a slider and click in the viewport. Now select the slider in the viewport and go to modify. The first property you'll find is label. Use it for give it a name the action you're going to be animating. The value depends on the position of the indicator along the slider. Now minimum and maximum. In the case of the morpher modifier, the minimum will be 0 and the maximum 100. So this slider is already well configured on minimum and maximum. The width property will change the width of the slider itself. This can give you more control over the animation. For connecting this slider to the morpher property, you have to first select the slider in the viewport and use the shortcut CTRL 5. CTRL 5 and a floating menu appears. You have to control the slider so go to offshift the slider and use the value property. Click. When clicking value, the dashed line appears. This is asking you to connect the value to something else. Click on the rat. A new floating menu appears. Go to Modify the object, Morpher, and the target you need to control. Click on a splinter run. Now you have the parameters wiring. One side is slider value and the other one the property you will be controlling. Use the right directional arrow and then click in connect. I will repeat step by step the connection. Now I will disconnect the connection and close the wiring parameters. And again, for connecting this, select the slider Control 5, Object Slider Value, click in the rat, Modify Object Morpher and Splinter Run Target. Now Directional Arrow and Connect. You can now close the Y parameters. For using the slider, you need to enable the Select and Manipulate tool. Click over there and then you can change the slider. As you can see the slider is now manipulating the morpher parameters. This slider can be animated later. Now let's do the same for the stretch modifier. Go to create panel and before going to create panel disable the select and manipulate. And now, yes, go to Create, Helpers, Manipulators, click in the slider, click in the viewport, and configure the width. I'll choose a level name, stretch. In the case of the stretch, the minimum and maximum is different. The stretch minimum will be minus 0.1 and maximum will be 0. So, in the stretch slider, 
set minimum to minus one, minus zero one, sorry, and maximum to zero. That's all right. Now I will connect the second slider to the stretch. Select the slider, control five, off shift the slider, value, and click on the rat. Now watch out. The stretch modifier will give you a large cascade of floating menu. Modified object, modify, stretch, and again the stretch. So these are four floating menu. I will repeat the cascade so you can see it without my interruption. Select Ctrl 5, object the slider value, click in the rat. Modified object, modified object, stretch, and click in a stretch. Use the directional arrow, click and connect. Enable select and manipulate in the toolbar. And let's see, it's working. Now, this is ready for animation. I will assume you know animate and 3ds Max. So I will do this quickly. I will activate the outer key. I will generate six keyframes. Three for each slider. Under I have the six keyframes for the running cycle. And this is my running cycle. Now, you maybe want to repeat the cycle. I'm sure you know how to do this, but anyway, I'm going to tell you because the trick here is you're not animating the morpher or the stretch, you're animating the sliders. That means when you go into the curve editor, Instead of selecting your your mouse, your rat, you need to select the slider. Go to object slider, click in value, and this is what you're going to repeat. Controller, out of range type, and change constant to loop. Okay, and there you have the function of the movement is repeat. Now you have to do the same with the second slider. Go to Curve Editor. Select the second slider and the object slider value. Change the function from constant to loop. And there you have. Now you can put your rat running all over the sea. Well, I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.